Hey guys, welcome back to Gavin's Garage. Today we're going to be load testing the Generac IQ3500. This has to be one of the quietest generators I've reviewed. I'm going to compare it to the Honda EU3000 before the load test. They're both in the same um, build. You can tell that uh, Generac and Honda kind of follow the same model when it comes to these two generators. Okay, we're going to look at them, compare them, and then we're going to get to the load test. You can tell there are some similarities in the two generators. The placement of the handle, metal construction, they're both metal construction. Um, I put the Generac up on some blocks, kind of, it doesn't have a wheel kit, so the Honda it looks a little taller, so I put it some, on some 2x4 to kind of boost it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and start both generators and do a sound test. I'm going to do a sound test from 10 feet, 15, and then back to 23. Okay, let's uh, fire them up. Okay, let's go ahead and do the Honda first. I know the Generac has 500 more watts than the Honda, but they, they're so much alike, I had to compare it to the Honda for you guys. Okay, fuel on, choke. This one does have a manual choke. Okay, it's in eco mode right now. Let's go ahead and step back. right at 10 feet about 58 About 20 feet. Okay, you can hear the Honda. Let's go ahead and fire up the Generac. Shut this one off. Okay, we got the Generac. Let's go ahead and fire up the Generac. Okay, we got the Generac running. Let's do uh, 10 feet. Fifteen feet. And twenty feet. All right, so I really think that these two generators have a lot in common with their metal construction and their awesome, super quiet. Let's go ahead and do a low test on the Generac and see exactly what it can run. Okay? Okay, we've got power to the RV. You can see that we're running about 325 watts. That's the battery charger, guys. Um, most people say they'll disconnect the battery charger. I'm doing a real world test. And in real world, when you're uh, running a generator, you do have a battery charger being uh, charged. So that's part of the test. We're gonna keep the battery charger going and everything else just as it is. Let's head inside the RV and we're gonna turn on the refrigerator, the AC. We're gonna try the uh, stove. I've never done the stove. Let's, let's try the stove with the uh, Generac IQ3500 really quiet generator okay guys let's get inside the RV and get this test started okay we're in the RV first thing turn on every light okay all lights are on let's see how clean of power this thing is putting out okay perfect sine wave 
real clean sine wave. I got some water on the stove. I'm going to be using the stove um, and see what this pulls. We're going to turn on the microwave. Okay, we're going to turn on the microwave. One AC and then the refrigerator. Let's go ahead and fire that up right now. Okay, we got the fridge on. So the way I like to do my test is like real work. What would you run if you were using a generator in your RV? The first thing you're gonna do is turn on your fridge, right? So we got the fridge on. Still pulling a nice sine wave. And guys, from in here, I cannot hear the generator and the door is open. I think the birds are making more noise in this generator. Before we turn on anything else, let's go ahead and fire up the stove. And heat. Okay, the stove is on. Sine wave still looks good. If you guys are wondering what this is, this is a rubber pad that stays on the, the uh, stove so the stove won't get scratched, okay? It is an induction stove, so the pad actually stays on the stove while it's being cooked. You can already see the water is getting hot. Let's go ahead and turn this all the way up. Should pull. There you go. Water's already getting ready to boil. No distortion. Generator still quiet. Like I said, from in here, I cannot hear the generator. All right, we already got boiling water. Okay, let me shut that off. Okay guys, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna fire up the AC. I do have soft starts on my AC, so it's gonna turn on the fan, then it's gonna turn on the compressor. So that's the fan. And I would ask you guys, if you are gonna use any kind of generator power, consider installing soft start on your uh, AC at least one of them okay so we got the fridge we got the AC running now now let's go do a sound test on that All right, guys, we got the AC running with the refrigerator and all the lights, and that's it. I'm telling you guys, this has to be the quietest generator I've ever tested. All right, you can hold a normal composition right next to the generator, running your AC, the refrigerator, all the lights. Okay guys, we got the AC running. Let's turn on the microwave, one minute. Okay, we got some distortion now. Okay, as you can see, we have an overload light flashing. We're pulling 28 amps, guys. 
strobe light is flashing, but you can do it. Check out the voltage on this thing. 115 volts. Pure sine wave. No low voltage. Let's see if it does the whole minute. Super quiet. Right on it. 68. Let's do a full load. Fifty-eight point nine full load. Generac thirty-five hundred. Generac IQ thirty-five hundred fifty-eight decibels on a full load. Okay, guys. Shut off the AC. All right. Fridge right off. Power rush technology. I definitely think it has something to do with the uh, ability to start all them loads and not even drop the voltage. That is absolutely awesome. Highly recommend. All right, we just finished testing the Generac IQ 3500. Awesome generator. It did get to the overload, so I pushed it all the way for you guys, all right? I, um, I think it's an absolute perfect generator. The one thing I wish it had was a wheel kit. You can get the wheel kit for this generator. I would recommend you getting the wheel kit if you get this generator. It is a heavy generator. It's up to 120 pounds, I believe. Um, I think that's because of the metal construction, but everything on this generator is is, is a plus. Quiet. It starts every load without dropping the uh, voltage down into the 90s. It stayed right about 112, I believe, which is perfect. It's keeping your, um, all your equipment on your RV safe. So do I recommend this generator? Yes. It passed my test. Phenomenal generator. Real quiet for the size and the power. Okay? Guys, thanks for watching my channel. Please, if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and push that subscribe button right now. It really helps us out. Um, leave me a comment if you want to see a particular generator or you want me to put this up against a, uh, another generator. Thanks for watching Gavin's Garage. Have a nice day, guys. Thank you.